I wanted to, you know, let's come back to some of the the things that you mentioned. I wanted to show uh, your metrics and especially tell me how much time did you use pulp uh, in period of time in months? One day I took a screenshot, sir. Maximum one day I used the seven hours. During that day, I uh, solved uh, 2,100 questions I uh, practiced and uh, uh-huh. around 500 questions I did revision that day. My average time, I set a goal three hours during my last month of preparation, but uh, I used to solve almost five to six hours minimum average on each and every day. So maximum, I even took a screenshot of that. <laughs> so that <laughs> I, I, can, I I'll show you the your number of attempts. Like in the in the total time period was barely uh, like a couple of months to uh, yes, how, how much time, right? Like yes, and doing so many questions in that much time, I'm not surprised you did so well. So <laughs> let me just uh, just show you like a uh, your prep DNA. Uh, let me just see. Yeah. Okay. I have it here. Uh, so this is this is what we call prep DNA. This is not showing the whole prep DNA. There's more uh, to the left of this. But okay. first first thing over here that I saw was uh, you're looking at the number of attempts. If if within a short time of just a couple of months, if you do over yes. forty two thousand attempts, yes. uh, your your brain is getting wired. To understanding these things and the revisions were also almost 10,000 revisions and these are things that you must have got wrong and then we presented it to you because the algorithm presents things to you again and yes. uh, you also kept in mind those the features that you were saying right like you're correcting you're yeah. making a change uh, from correct to a wrong on answer or right uh, how much time you're taking to get the correct option or you get we give we say uh, we give you a second uh, choice right like uh, you make a wrong uh, option you choose a wrong option and you can and then your second attempt you get it right it yes. makes you trains your brain to not just do a fluke but you know make an effort so i yes. i was uh, th- this is the first thing that i noticed that within a short time you uh, did such a huge number the second thing is this is mostly like greens and yellows. Like there's a little bit, it seems microbiology has a little bit that uh, you you need to continue to improve. But everywhere else, whenever you are in this consistently, what I've seen in this chart, green and yellow range, the people do well. Because, okay. you know, you are in the, uh, in, in the top few percentile, like, you know, definitely in the top quartile on all the topics. You know, okay. people are good in a few topics, but you are in all the topics. You are in the in the top quartile. Uh, the other thing on consistency, I'll say, is like this is this tells you that. Uh, yes. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, except for this Thursday in this week, I I just picked up one week at random, right? Like okay. in this time period, um, and and you you did overall, you did your weakness practice, you did deep revision, deep revision presents to you all your previous mistakes and similar questions based on your previous mistakes. So it will also show you new questions that are similar to the ones that you got wrong. So doing these two things consistently was great. And you, of course, were taking daily tests quite yes. consistently. Too. Um, so any, anyway, like I, I didn't want to show too many charts. Uh, this is more about you, but I was just the metrics show how much effort and how much consistency you, you put into it.